Hi everyone, it's Aska here. In this video, I'll introduce the different types of brushes for gel polish and how to use them as well as how to use each type differently. Knowing about brushes can lead to improvement, such as knowing what you should do first after buying a brush, the differences in brush tip shapes, and how to use them differently depending on the shape to paint more beautifully than neutral. I also introduce ways to deal with people who are prone to uneven coloring, so please watch until the end. Okay, let's get started! What kind of gel polish do you usually use? Most people use bottle type gel or a container type gel like this. In this article, I would like to introduce the brushes for gel polish that are essential when using container type gel. We'll be looking at what you need to do first after buying a brush, the different shapes of brush tips, and how you can use different shapes to apply gel more easily and beautifully than neutral, leading to an improvement in your skills. I've also included various pieces of advice for those who have their own particular habits when using a brush and find it difficult to apply gel well, so please be sure to take a look. First of all, let's take a look at what you need to do first after buying a brush for gel. There are many people who don't know this, so please remember it. After taking a brush out of the bag, you will see a transparent cap like this. So first of all, remove this. If you look closely, you can see that the brush tip has hardened, right? This is the tip of the brush with glue on it. If you apply gel to the brush in this state, the glue will mix with the gel and cause it to harden poorly. So you need to remove the hardened glue first. Gently rub the tip of the brush with your fingers to soften it. And then blow away any glue residue with your fingernails. It's okay when no more dust comes out. Next, apply clear gel to the brush tip. If you take the color gel straight away without anything on the brush, the color will transfer to the bristles and be difficult to remove. So first, soak the brush in clear gel such as base coat. After thoroughly blending the clear gel on aluminum foil or a palette, wipe off the soaked clear gel with kitchen paper as there is a possibility that the brush will still have some glue left on it. Now, you can start using a gel brush. Okay, let's move on to introduce the different shapes of brush tips. There are five main types. I will explain each one in turn. First, the over brush. Over brushes have rounded tips with no corners. These brushes are used to apply base coat, color gel, top coat, etc. to the entire nail. When beginners buy gel brushes, the over brush is the best choice. The reason for this is that when applying color gel with this over brush, if you place it gently at the base of the nail, the rounded tip will naturally fit the shape of the nail base and allow you to apply the line neatly. By simply following the shape of the nail base, you can achieve a relatively easy and beautiful finish. Also, because the tip of the brush has no corners, so the gel does not easily leak onto the skin. This is a brush that is easy to use for beginners. Next, the square brush. As the name suggests, the square brush is distinctive for its square shape. Unlike the over brush we looked at earlier, 
It has a sharp corners. This is also used to spread the base and color top coat over the entire nail. This square brush is more suited to advanced users. On the one hand, it has the disadvantage that the tip of the brush has a corner, which makes it easy for the paint to run onto the skin. But on the other hand, you can use this corner to paint right up to the base of the nail. By using the corner of the brush to follow the shape of the base of the nail in this way, you can apply the paint closer to the skin. This is quite a difficult technique to master, and it takes the skills of a professional, so it is recommended for those who want to improve their skills. Next up is the French brush. French brushes have a slanted brush tip. As the name suggests, these brushes are used for French manicure. The shape of the brush is specialized for applying this part of the French manicure. To apply the gel, take some gel on the slanted brush tip and place the longer side of the brush on the side of the nail and pull it towards you. After applying it to the middle of the nail in the same way, you can now turn the French brush over and apply the other side in the same way. This way, you can easily create a French line using just this one brush. However, as this brush is specially shaped for French manicure, it is not suitable for other uses. This brush is recommended for those who often do French manicure and want to save time. Next, the liner brush. It is also called the line brush or a liner brush and is characterized by its thin long brush tip. This brush is used to draw thin lines. This brush is specialized for drawing various types of thin long lines such as checkered lines and wavy lines. To use this brush well, move it parallel to the nail and you can draw straighter, more uniform lines of a uniform thickness. The longer the brush tip, the better the effect. However, the longer it is, the more difficult it becomes to draw short lines. For drawing long lines like a checker pattern, I recommend a liner brush with a long brush tip. For short lines, I recommend a liner brush with a short brush tip. Finally, the art brush. Art brushes are similar to the liner brushes we looked at earlier, but many of them are even shorter. As the name suggests, these brushes are used for nail art. While the liner brushes we looked at earlier are specialized for drawing lines, these are perfect for drawing patterns with a thickness greater than lines, such as flower petals or leopard patterns. The short brush tips allow for a lot of maneuverability, so you can draw all sorts of detailed art. For beginners doing nail art, the liner brush is too long and difficult to handle so it is recommended to start with one of these short art brushes. For those who have become more experienced and can use them differently, it is recommended to use two brushes, an art brush and a liner brush. So far, we have introduced five representative types of brush. In addition to these, there are also various brushes with unusual shapes. Although many of these have limited uses, it is a good idea to include these types of brushes in your options when you want to improve your skills. Also, if you find that you tend to get uneven color when applying color gel, it may be because you are applying too much pressure with the brush. The basic method is to hold the brush parallel to your nails when applying color. 
But if you still find that you get uneven color, try using a brush with a longer brush tip. A longer brush tip will help to distribute the pressure applied to the brush, reducing the chance of uneven color. Over brushes and square brushes come in different lengths depending on the manufacturer. So if you have a tendency to apply color gel unevenly, try using a longer brush. Finally, here's how to store your brush. First, Wipe off any gel from the brush with kitchen paper. After wiping off some of the gel, put some ethanol in a small container and wash the brush tip in it. After washing, wipe off the ethanol again with kitchen paper. And then apply a little clear gel such as base coat to the brush tip to prevent it from becoming brittle. Wipe off any excess gel and put the cap on to finish. Store in a place where it will not be exposed to sunlight. Even if you store it in a place where it will not be exposed to sunlight, it may harden if it is not used for a long period of time. In this case, soak it in ethanol will make it soft again, so please don't give up and try it. How did you find the different types of brushes and how to use them? Just one brush can help you achieve a wider range of nail finishes and art, so be sure to give it a try. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. And if you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.